Hello, everybody. And welcome to Paper Mario Sticker Star. I love this game, and sadly, that's controversial to say. We'll get into the specific reasons as they're applicable to the Let's Play, so we'll get into that later. Before we do get started, though, I need to give a shout out to my friend Neo Dark Rye TV, TV, or Ralph, or your pal Ralph, whatever he's going by now, because he lent me his copy of Paper Mario Sticker Star because all of my copies, yes, copies, are downloaded onto my new 3DS. So I'm actually unable to record those. So he lent me his. Obviously, it's not too hard to get a lent copy of this game if you just ask around. I don't think too many people are attached there yet to their game. Another thing is I want to give a shout out to my Patreon supporters. They should be going on the right side of the screen. Thank you all for supporting the channel and helping me do this without going bankrupt. So without further ado, let's get into it. <clears throat> Today's story begins one evening during a holiday called Sticker Fest. The Sticker Fest is a celebration of stickers that occurs every year in the Mushroom Kingdom. On the special night, a sticker comet falls from far beyond the sky. If everyone concentrates and wishes on that sticker comet, it's said that all of those wishes will come true. Wake up. Wake up. Oh, come on. Wake up! It's a me, Mario. The hero of the story. He's back again to paper it up. Bowser really wrecked things, didn't he? Hey, you. Come over here a minute. Uh, I'd rather not, but okay. Hello there. Wow, you came right over here, huh? Good instincts. I like it. Well, you, yeah, you could say instincts. In case it's not obvious, I'm stuck here and can't move. Hurry up and peel me off this thing. Just get close to me and hold down A. You can handle that, right? We'll see. We'll see about that. Amazingly. I did it without injury. Phew, that was unpleasant. Hey, wait a minute, you... What's your deal? Me? You! You're the one who touched the comet! What's wrong with you? It's a saying from the beginning of time, never ever touch the sticker comet! You must have heard it a million times! You don't think a comet packed full of people's wishes might be the teensiest bit dangerous? No, you and your infinite wisdom had to lay your grubby hands on it and clear blammo! 
total chaos, and do you even realize what blew off to who knows where in the blast? The royal stickers. Yeah, those royal stickers. This is all your fault, pal. You're taking full responsibility for all of this. Uh, I'd rather not. Huh? Someone named Bowser touched the sticker comment and you're Mario? How dare you! Pinning the blame on someone else? Talk about cowardly. Talk about completely unpaper-like. A lady is in serious trouble here. Ask yourself, what would the famous Mario do at a time like this, hmm? I can't imagine. Huh? Really? You'll really help? Thanks. In that case, I'll introduce myself. I'm Kirsty. Yeah. The name is what you think. It's... it's sticker backwards, basically. I came from the faraway sticker star to grant everyone's wishes at the sticker fest. It's not me who grants them, mind you. No, the stickers who wield the mystical powers, superpowers to grant those wishes, are known as the royal stickers. Now they're scattered all over, as they're tear cake the tear caker. Okay. It's my duty to find all of them, or else I can't return to the sticker star. So yeah, that's why you have to help me find the royal stickers. It looks like they fell outside of town, so first we need to find out how to get out of here. Well, alright. I see nothing keeping us here, so let's just leave! Oh, well, we have a problem. So, obviously we need to go around and help all these toads, so let's get started on that, shall we? Let's peel this boy off. You can peel stickers off the walls. This is going to be a recurring theme pretty much through the entire game. As is paper. Crumpled and stuck in a box. A box! I mean, I was raised to always keep my creases crisp, but this stuff really crimps my corners. I love the alliteration. And Mario's standing right there, so I probably shouldn't unleash the primal shriek I have bottled up. I guess I'll just swallow my rage. So, one common complaint with this game is there's not a lot of dialogue, but I'll tell you what. What dialogue there is? It's really good. It's not bad at all. Let's pop this bad boy up here so we can reach the toad up there. As well as grab a sticker, which I'm sure Kirsty's going to love to explain. Huh, hey, that's a sticker, isn't it? Lucky you, picking up something that great. Well, you can't jam something as important as a sticker in your pocket, so let's keep give you an album to keep that in. Yes, the thought of everyone upon picking up a sticker. Can't put that in my pocket, that's too valuable. Not bad, huh? Any sticker you find, just pop it in the album. Trust me, you're going to need as many of those as you can find later on, so take good care of them. I sure will. Let's grab this toad up here. Uh, please. There we go. He stuck it in an unfortunate spot. Whenever the wind blew, I was flapping around up there like a piece of laundry. Not my finest moment. And I've got to say, dangling that high up really was kind of terrifying. Laundry's got it rough. They sure do. I guess you could theoretically say laundry could be alive. It was made out of paper. What determines what paper is alive and what paper is not alive, by the way? I, uh, was kind of hoping you'd be a little gentler with the whole peeling process. A little delicacy, you know? I mean, I'm not ripped anywhere, am I? No? Good. Thanks for your help. Yeah. I imagine ripping would probably be an unpleasant experience as well, wouldn't it? Let's get you. You're in the middle of this all here. What's up? Mario, Bowser's paces us all over the place. Luckily, I've got just the thing for a crisis like this. Here, take it. Yes, a hammer. That'll help us out. Of course, it's a Paper Mario game. We can't not have a hammer. It may not look like much, but this hammer's got a long and distinguished pedigree that echoes back through the kingdom's history. If you just use B, you'll master it in no time. Okay. Hey, so obviously you can jump, but now you can also use that awesome thing. Use that awesome thing. It has a name. Life's good, huh? Break stuff, knock some stuff down, just whack whatever you want. Kirsty does have some some stinkers, though, for lines. Let's, uh, hit this little sign here. Peel this bad boy off. Hidden in a good spot. This is probably the last one a lot of people find. Great, that was fun. Yeah, pasted behind a sign in a forgotten corner. And what number did I draw on the Rescue Toad Lottery? Five? Story of my life. Talk about being flat out unimportant. Not to spoil, there's 27 toads. Five isn't that bad of a of a draw. I wonder if you would have still said that if you got him second, because you can't get him first, because you gotta get the hammer first. Wow, you've got the skills. You peeled it off without ripping my head. Well, yeah, gladly. I'll pick out all of these uh, unique stickers. There'll be plenty of hammers and jumps we'll be seeing around, but we don't. There's no need to grab them all. And I believe that should be all the toads. What's up? 
You know you can't get to the town square without passing through here, right? Another wonderful development. Sorry, I usually keep my creases, creases crisp, but, but this whole situation's got me completely unfolded. You can tell which toad is which here. Pretty sure we can get out of town from the town square. We need to get through here. Yeah, I'm sure. I gotta say, I never got get used to the sting that comes with peeling process. Stickers are so sticky. So it's painful. Interesting. Hey, seriously, thanks for saving me. I mean, the peeling process wasn't exactly unpainful, but what are you gonna do? Huh. I never really thought of it. It must be pretty painful. So are you using the hammer that doesn't look like much but has a long and distinguished pedigree and echoes back through the kingdom's history? Yeah. A little free advice. When you're looking for something or someone, search every nook and cranny, okay? Because wh whoever you're looking for is probably alone in the shadows. Sad and lonely, possibly crying. A little hungry, generally just not having fun. Ugh, the dialogue is good. Gotta slurp it up when you get it. Now that I think on it, when I was up there flapping in the breeze, it was kind of fun. Oh my goodness, he's getting it. He's getting used to it. That's not good. We gotta get these toads out of here fast! Oh, the paper aesthetic is pushed to the max in this game, as you can tell. Look, a road! Now we can start making some progress. Hurry up and let's find the way out of town. Well, sure, I see no reason to help any other toads. Let's just book it on out of here, why don't we? Hmm, so this is the town proper. Quieter than I thought it would be. Well, whatever. Where's that exit? Well, since we're not helping any toads and just booking it, probably this way. What's going on? Oh, we got a problem. Oh wow, this place is really rolled up tight. That's what... That what's-his-bowser guy did quite a number on the town. Hmm, seems like an issue. How's that hammer holding up? Did you know you could knock down bushes and stuff with it? Okay. Oh, would you look at this? What a pickle! Plaza's all rolled up like a burrito. Can't get out of town because of this fine how-do-you-do, no sir? I ain't gonna lie to you, this looks bad, but maybe if we get all the toads in town to help, we can de-burrito it. Mario, the town toads are probably all over the place after that sticker fest carnage, so trek them all down and see if they can help. Sure thing, I guess. What, did he just say this way out of the town is through the plaza? Okay, we need to get this place back to normal fast. Mario, I say we round up those toads. Let's get hunting. I agree, so... Obviously there's a number of toads we need to grab here. What's in here? One coin! We're rich, boys. What's up? What? My camouflage bush! All that hiding for nothing! My sweet ambush has a no-go! Alright, Dr. Big Bowser Pants, you narrowly escaped this day. Anyway, see you later, Mario. Oh yeah, by the way, our hammer has a number of uses, including flipping these bushes over. If there's like flowers that are unflipped over, you can flip those over as well. Just to make the area a little bit more pretty. There's a toad right here. You know, I always thought I should try to thrive in the sun and grow strong and hardy like a weed. But I don't think being taped to the back of a bush really qualifies. Now I'd argue against that. Once again, I'm going to grab all the unique stickers we find here. I don't really care for duplicates because we're going to have plenty of stickers. These tie into the battle system and I'll go over the battle system in a moment once it's important. So what do we got in here? Looks like a gaggle of toads. All stacked together in a cabinet. Poor boys. Along with what looks like sheet music. Check this out. After Bowser, Bowser stacked us, he carefully lined up our edges before stuffing us in the cabinet. This guy is surprisingly meticulous. Pretty impressive attention to detail for a rampaging monster. Well, that's good to know. He's meticulous. I mean, it'd be pretty hard to run an entire kingdom without being meticulous, I'd imagine. He technically does run a kingdom, right? Oh, here's one of those flipped over... Uh, flowers I was talking about. Flip it right over. Also, you can flip over these maps here, which is important because there's a toad. All day, every day. It was endless. I'll be back. Anyone home? Bye. Welcome. I'm home. And I got stomped on every time. Makes me terrified just reliving it. I never want to be a doormat again. I don't blame you, buddy. I am going to grab another hammer here, though. This boy's going nuts. Mario, do that again. So, here's a note. It zooms in whenever you jump. You cannot jump again until it zooms back out. So a way to speed this up, walk to the left every time, and it zooms out whenever you walk to the left. Really speeds this process up. I wasn't even under it. Okay. Yow, that was rough. So, Mario, you got folded eight times? Well, I got folded 256 times. 
I'm not, not such a math guy, but I think that means I had it 32 times rougher than you. Wow. Uh, isn't, like, that the max amount of times you can fold a paper without it being, like, impossible to unfold? This is a shiny jump sticker. There's different tiers of stickers. You can see on the bottom we have three different tiers so far. Uh, the big X being a worn out sticker and the rest being normal and this being a shiny sticker. So uh, once again, we will go over what those mean in the future. There's also a Bah Hammer sticker, which is if you if you know about sheep in the series, you know what it's going to do. Sheep means sleep. That's what we always say. So we go into here, there's a jump sticker, I'm not too interested in that, but we got some trash. Very interested. Call me Ness. That's a good crumple he had going there. Crumpled, ball up, balled up, and flicked into the trash without a second thought. Pretty much the peak of hum humiliation for paper. I'm going to go grab a shower and forget this ever happened. I don't blame you, buddy. Wow, in the trash, that's gotta be unsanitary. Of course, there's a shoe with a flower in the back, but I'm not too interested in that. And I... Ooh, no, we're still missing one toad. The last toad. Probably one that was missed by many people. He's right here. Poor boy in the darkness. Phew, Mario. I was mentally prepared to quietly while away the rest of my days on that wall without anyone ever finding me. But now that you've saved me, I must sally forth once more and brave the uncertainties of this cruel world. Super! I'm gonna live life to the fullest. Mario, you should too. He was ready to die. He was ready to stand there and perish. What's that? Ooh, just normal jump. Yeah, why not? I'll grab a jump sticker. I see no pain in it. And that should be all of the toads. So, with that, let's get going. We have an adventure to go on. Let's waste no time. What is up? Wait. Wait. We're missing a toad. Ah! Did I not go in this third house? I sure didn't. He's right here. Oh, hey. I thought I hid pretty well, but you found me easily, didn't you? Heh <laughs> Wait, who's on the what now? Bowser's gone. Yes, dudes, let's go home. Dudes. Ah. 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 Yep, that's 27 toads in total. So <laughs> let's get out of here now that we've found all of the toads. I never, like every time I play through this game, and yes, it's been multiple times, shame me in the comments, uh, I always forget one toad. Good deal, thanks to you, we all we got all the toads together. Now that's our Mario, a toad saving pro. Now let's get to it. Let's push this town over. Paint the town paper. Okay, ready to unburrito this bad boy? Push! Push! Get to it. I guess we'll just watch. Oh, he's dead. Perished. Oh golly. But hey, we got... That is the happiest song for someone dying. We got the town back, so... That... That's okay, right? Woohoo! We did it! Thanks, Mario! The plaza's back to normal, so now we can leave town. You've probably got some Princess Peach saving to do, huh? Get to it. Yeah, we sure will. Saving. Oh yeah, we gotta save. We did it! Now we can take the exit to get outside of town. Finally, we can set out to find the royal stickers. Finally! It's only like 20 minutes. Chill out. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention. If you ever want to talk to me, just press L. If you get stuck or lost, or maybe just lonely, I might be able to give you a little advice. Alright, and we finally unlocked the base town. I'm not going to explore too much because there's not really too much we can do. I'll talk to the toads though. So a bunch of toads went off together to go sticker hunting in the warm fuzzy plains. I'm sure you know this, but picking up fallen stickers during the season is basically a leisure activity of choice. Neat. Good to know. So everyone does it, not just us. You know what would make a great souvenir for your time in Decalburg? A sticker. I wonder if it's really pronounced Decalburg. I mean, Bowser did kind of rampage all over the place, so we don't really have much variety in our inventory. But the plan is to get more stock soon. Anyway, go ahead and have a look around the shop. You won't regret it. Yep, so this is your main shop. There's very few shops throughout the, I guess you could call it, kingdom. 
there's like three or four, so I'd mainly be coming back to this one to go shopping. However, we only have one coin, so there's no real reason to do it yet. This house serves no purpose for now, so we'll come back. There's, all, of course, the heart block from previous games. You don't have to pay coins to use it, so no worries there. And the save block from previous games as well. So it's all here, the good Paper Mario experience. Well, some would say. Bowser really went off on the Sticker Fest grounds, and now looking at them is almost too much to bear. You could probably bear it, though. You look like a- <laughs> you look like you can bear a thing or two. The grounds are that away. I'd rather not. So it's, it's- it's a ground of fallen toads, isn't it? Help? Now I'm hearing things, all in my head, resisting the urge to freak out. Yeah, I, I doubt anyone's calling for help. And of course, over here is another thing we can't do, so we'll hold off on that until we can. So, uh, let's leave the town. Hold up over there. Or not. We got some gooms. Heh, where you headed, Mario? Why don't you play with us for a little while? Excuse me, what do you think, you flimsy little ingrates? You are in the way. But that's fine, because it'll give us a chance to use some sticker power and turn you into paper scraps. Prepare to be shredded. Okay, they're all yours, Mario. I'm far too delicate a lady for a brouhaha. How many years has it been since you've heard that word? Protecting me is your duty. A brouhaha. So you think we're flimsy, huh? And you're gonna shred us, huh? Well, we'll see about that. I mean, it's gonna happen. Alrighty, so this is a battle. <laughs> yeah, we aren't the same old goomas you're used to stomping, pal. Bowser's got our backs. Does he now? <laughs> now, we have purple. Huh, well, this is unexpected. They look like the usual stompable minions, but I'm sensing sticker power. Well, we've got sticker power too. Mario, pull out your stickers. Whoa, just give me a chance to get things in line here. That's all you got? Mm, nope, not might not be enough. Here, as a special favor, you have some of mine. All right, you got stickers from Kirsty. So now we have a bunch of stickers. Okay, first look over here. Choose the sticker you want to use and stick it right here. On the bottom screen, touch the sticker you want to use or just use the blank to line up with the blank. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. So this is a battle in this game. It's a little different from previous games. Basically, the stickers you pick up, you use as items in a battle style. And your first attack will always hit the first enemy in line. You cannot choose your enemy specifically. So if I were to use a jump here, I'm just going to jump on the first. I missed, I missed the action command, but it hit anyway. Nice, keep it up. Yeah, thanks. You can also, of course, block just like the previous games. It's not too tight. There's no super block, so don't worry about that. There is a bit of a different aspect with the hammer, though. So I'm going to go ahead and show that off. If you hit a greater excellent, you create a shockwave and are able to do damage to more than one enemy, which is really convenient. It really separates the hammer from the jump. He shredded us. We really are flimsy. So yeah, we'll get used to that battle system pretty quick. It's simplistic, but fun. Yeah, there is definitely something off about those Goombas. I'm sure their behavior has something to do with the roll stickers getting scattered. With sketchy Goombas all over, it might be a good idea to prepare for the worst by buying stickers from the town sticker shop. But that's your call. Now let's go find some roll stickers. I only have one coin. What am I going to buy? Yeah, all right. So with that, we can go ahead and leave to the world map. That's right, a Paper Mario game with a world map. I would... I'd stop tempering your expectations around the other Paper Mario games at this point, because I'll tell you right now, this game is not like other Paper Mario games. And that's okay. It's okay for this game to be its own thing. And we'll get to experience this own thing in World 1-1, Warm Fuzzy Plains. See you all then, and goodbye.